Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, I set up a quick scene here to demonstrate mirrors in Blender. Let me know in the comments if you would like to have a tutorial on modeling these plants or any other components along with their materials. So this is how the final render came out. We'll be talking about rendering for EV as well as for cycles. So guys, let's get started. Open up a new project in Blender. Take the default cube and scale it on the X, Y and Z axis to get the desired shape and size for your mirror. Go into edit mode and select the front face. Press I to insert it. Next, we will add a material to the mirror. I chose the brownish wood color for the frame. Now, select the inserted faces and add a new material and click assign. Change surface to glass BSDF and property to sharp. Change the index of refraction to 1200. Now you can see it looks like a mirror surface. Add any object and switch to render view using cycles. Moving on to EV, I already have the mirror frame in black. Assign a new material to the mirror. Scroll down and increase the metallic property all the way up to 1. Next, we go to the roughness. So reduce the roughness all the way to 0. The mirror is almost ready. Push it back into the frame. Now let's add an object. So let's add um, a monkey. Adjust the location and rotation and bring it in front of the mirror. When you switch to rendered view, you won't see anything. Go to the render properties and turn on screen space reflection and refraction. Also, I recommend that you turn on ambient occlusion and bloom while using EV. Now you can see the reflection, but it's not quite clear. So let's fix this. Press Shift A and go to Light Probe. Select Reflection Plane. Now adjust and scale the plane to perfectly match the size of your mirror. Then drag and match it to the surface of the mirror. Now you can see that our object's reflection is clearly visible. You can also move the object in real time and see the reflections. That's it for today's video guys. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more such tutorial videos.